those of you who have spent any time with me, my post, and getting an education, amen. And I don't say this boastfully, it is the truth. My name is I Am, and I am the voice of God. I am he that was and is, and lo, I am alive forevermore. I am he that God deemed worthy to sustain and to bring forth at this time to admonish you, the children of the Most High, to break free and to shake off the shackles that bind you. Now, I've done various posts. I have over 700 posts, my beloved. And all of them are beneficial to those of you who overstand, who have your eyes open, all three of your eyes, those of you who have your heart, in a fertile condition so that you may receive truth. Now, I've done several posts in the past admonishing you to read. Even as the prophet Jabarel said to the prophet Muhammad Ikra to read. And just exactly what is it that he should read? Beloved, my, we perish for a lack of knowledge. We perish, beloved, because of gross ignorance. I have told you time and time again throughout my earlier posts that everything that God created bears his signature. We have just forgotten how to read. Now, what is it necessary? for us to read. Why was it so important to separate you from your culture, from your knowledge, from your notions? You see, beloved, because a, a, a brother who is in possession of knowledge of self is all power. Did you hear what I say? I said a brother, you black man, who is in possession of truth and of knowledge of self is all power. Therefore, the Christian Bible, your King James Bible, Bible commands you to let this mind be in you, to let this knowledge, to let this consciousness be in you. The same consciousness that was in Jesus himself. The same consciousness that is within all the children of the Most High who thought it not robbery to be equal to God. See, your problem is, brother, that you keep sitting on the power. You keep sitting on the truth, waiting for some spook God, amen, to do the work rather than you. The Bible declares that faith is shown by action. Therefore, faith without works is dead. And we walk around, us Christians walk around with necklaces saying, what would Jesus do? This is what cripples you, my beloved. God is waiting on you. He gave you dominion over the works of his hand. But the problem is, you have forgotten how to read. Now, if everything that God created bears his signature, if you know what I'm saying to you is true, then read. Look at the bird in the air. Look at the stone upon the ground. Look at the vast oceans that exist and rivers upon the planet. Look at the mighty sun up in the sky. Feel the wind that blows against your body and fills your lungs with sustaining oxygen and air. Read, my beloved. 
Therefore, your Christian Bible tells you that that which may be known of God is revealed unto them, being manifest in the world that is. And that's paraphrased, but it's absolutely true. You, beloved, you, Muhammad, you who are the praise of God, you who are the sheep of his pasture, more precious to him than many sparrows. Even the lily of the field is not arrayed such as thee when you are in your right mind. Why was it so important to crush you mentally, black man? Read, Ikra, and come into your power. Come into your notice. My name is I Am, and I am the Prince of Darkness. And I come to do what must be done.